Hello, this is Trev222. I wanted to do a Max Upgrades video for the L355. If you haven't seen my previous video, definitely check that out. But I've gotten a lot of questions, forum comments, and emails uh, concerning the L355. So I wanted to make another video just to give you the Max that you can put into this system. So with that said, um, this is covering the Intel model, which is the L355. The L355D is the AMD model. I've had several of these systems, but every one I've gotten has had a bad motherboard, so I've really never messed around with it. Um, so this will only cover Intel. Um, I'll start off by showing my system. Uh, As you can see here, I have the T9600 2.8 gigahertz CPU, 8 gigs of DDR2 RAM, 800 megahertz, and I had upgraded to Windows 7 64-bit. And then as well, I am running, ah shoot. I'm running an Intel uh, 120 gig 320 series SSD. Um, I want to start off with chipsets. You may want to pause this and be able to read this information. These are the four chipsets that they used in the L355. GL960, GM965, GL40, and GM45. Um, really, the way they're listed is the order of uh, worst to best, in my opinion. GL960 can handle 3 gigs of DDR2 RAM. This is whether it has a 32 or 64 bit operating system. The GM965, I have proven that it can handle 4 gigs of RAM. Um, some people are saying that with upgraded BIOS on some systems uh, that it can handle 8 gigs of RAM. I do not know if that's the case with Toshiba's. Uh, the GL40 and GM45, I have confirmed both of those can run uh, 8 gigs of RAM. Now you'll see it says DDR3 here. Uh, I pulled this from Wiki and then cut it down to uh, um, cut it down to just the chipsets that that we have on these systems. Our systems will only support DDR2. I've gotten several questions from people who have gone out and bought 8 gigs of DDR3 RAM and they say, hey, you know, you have this in your system, it doesn't fit in mine, what's going on? Uh, to be honest, it doesn't work. You need DDR2. Yes, it is a lot more expensive, but, you know, if you want 8 gigs, that's how you get 8 gigs. Um, Really, I'm only going to be talking about the GL40 and GM45 because they're the best two chipsets for this system. Uh, the other, the other chipsets, uh, I'd recommend if you have a motherboard with either of these chipsets, especially the GL960, and you're really looking to max this thing out, you'll probably want to invest in a GL40 or GM45 chipset motherboard. Um, as I said, I in this system, I have an Intel um, 120 gig SSD. Um, this system will support a uh, SATA 2 SSD drive. Now, you can use SATA 3 drives that are backwards compatible. That's... that's uh, I can't remember offhand if the 320 series is SATA 2 or SATA 3, but it will definitely speed up your system with uh, the RAM upgraded and an SSD drive upgraded. This thing will run great. Um, definitely a CPU will help, but for those of you who really don't want to tear the system apart, uh, upgrade the RAM, upgrade the operating system, and uh, throw an SSD in there and you'll be you'll be happy with the results. Um, 
So now that I've covered that, I wanna do CPUs. As I said, I have a T9600 in mine. mine my computer has the GM45 chipset motherboard. Uh, it, this system originally had a GL40 chipset motherboard. This was a L355-S7905. I couldn't add the, uh, the buttons or the webcam with that uh, motherboard without soldering on connectors. I, I did solder on the connectors for the or connector for the button board, but it was kind of a pain and I decided I wanted to get a better chipset anyway. So I just went ahead and upgraded the motherboard. Uh, that's up to you if you're really good at soldering. It's real fine pitch stuff, as you can see here. Um, there's the connector for, for the button board. Um, and then I believe it's this one and this one for, for the webcam. Uh, and then there's some other mods that have to be done to the board, which uh, someone posted a video up of how to do it. I thought it was too much of a pain, just cheaper to buy the, the, uh, the motherboard. So, but at any rate, with the GM45 chipset, you can handle a max of a T9900 CPU. Um, GM45 can handle 1066 megahertz front side bus. Um, socket P. Uh, GL40 can handle 800 megahertz front side bus. Socket P. For the GL40, basically the T9300 and T9500 are the top CPUs. Um, for the GM45, it's the T9600, uh, T9800, T9900. I did try a Q9000 Core 2 Quad. This system would not even power up with it. Um, I found out later that it has to be enabled in the BIOS for it to run. It obviously wasn't in this case. So, all right, now I've covered uh, the, the three big ones, CPU, RAM, and uh, hard drive. Now going into some different mods. Uh, I upgraded this from the standard wireless G card to a wireless end card. As you can see, I'm getting uh, 270 megabits per second currently, which isn't too bad. I'm kind of far away from my wireless router at this time. Um, what I did was I took out this card here, the wireless end card, and I upgraded it to a, a wireless G. You'll see there's three connections. And I actually bought the cabling, uh, I think it was for a satellite P205, which had the third cable. And I ended up having to, to cut a piece around this area on the lid to, uh, to be able to mount that antenna. And uh, up, updated the drivers and I was good to go. Um, the webcam with the uh, with the upgraded motherboard, I was able to add the the webcam. I will say that there are different bezels. If you have if you have the bezel that has it's just solid plastic here, um, you're gonna have to of course change your bezel. I had a bezel that had um, just a, a piece of plastic where the webcam should, uh, should go. I tried swapping in this bezel because it, you know, it's for an L355, but the plastics along the bottom, I don't know if I'm showing this right, plastics along the bottom were different and I couldn't get it to, to clip into place with the silver lid. I could have swapped out to a blue lid. I have a couple of them, but to be honest, I like the silver lid, so I wanted to keep it. So I ended up peeling this sticker off and peeling the sticker off here and just, just swapping them over. Um, again, you don't have to go through all that if you want to keep it. Uh, you know, or I'm sorry, if you want to swap to the 
blue lid, you don't have to go through all that, but I kind of wanted to keep the silver lid. But web camera app uh, works well. Uh, the button board I was able to add with the uh, uh, with the GM45 chipset motherboard as well. And then the last thing that I want to talk about is the uh, 56k modem. I don't know anyone that really uses these anymore. So you can take these two screws out. It's right under right under the keyboard. Take these two screws out pop this off, there will be a connector at the top here, just unplug it, and you can either curl up the connector and uh, cable and tuck it away, or like I did on this system, I found a, a delete plug from a L355-S7915, and I put that in place of, of the connector, so it just gives it a cleaner look. Um, I tried going over everything real fast here, but I see I'm over 11 minutes already. Uh, hopefully I've given a good thorough description. Um, if you have any questions, please post them up. Thanks.